something that if people understand what the implications are of the secrecy, that a hundred years of, of conscious evolution on this planet's been robbed by classified projects that have kept these technologies in a box and are now misusing them and have been misusing them for 60 years on people and hoaxing events rather than running your house and car. So there's no pollution. So people who care about the environment, people who care about world poverty, you need to connect, that what I tried to do beginning back in the 90s was to connect those dots. That the secrecy is anathema to a civilization that's sustainable and peaceful and just. So people who are concerned about that um, can be gathered together. And that's most people on the earth. There's, I mean, the vast majority of people on the earth do not benefit from fossil fuels and nuclear power and secrecy. Uh, th it's a very small number of people. And those people who would be displaced in a free energy economy, because at that point you've got such abundance, uh, it's a tide that'll lift the whole world, can be taken care of very easily and, and, and brought into other occupations besides digging up things and burning them or exploding them. So th there is a way to get us out of this. And I ha one thing I do want to say is that I am incredibly, the, I think the near term is fraught. I'm not going to say it's easy. You know, one thing about being an emergency doctor, you come into my ER and you have a headache and I find a brain tumor, I ain't going to tell you you got a migraine. I'm going to tell you you got a brain tumor. So right now our, it, the humanity has a metastatic tumor of corrupt corruption and secrecy, which needs to get treated. So we have to acknowledge where we are, but I'm fully confident that we can recover from this and we can begin a civilization that will allow us to do what I call a time snap, where where we could and should have been 100 years ago with free energy from Tesla, et cetera, and so on, we could get to that in 15 years. By the time this young man is in college or past, we would have no pollution, no poverty, things that float instead of highways digging up the ground. Mm -hmm. and